Well, hello, welcome to Izzy Soro. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Leo love prediction reading for March 18th and March 24th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'll always be grateful and honored if you decided to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my fiery, loyal, fun, kind loving leos show me spirit guys what's going on my leos show me spirit guys what you got going on let's see the lovers the ten of cups Eight of Pentacles. The Page of Cups. And the Nine of Wands. Huh. Leo. There's a deep abiding love with someone. Could be a Gemini person because the lover's card does represent Geminis. But there's a deep love with this person. I mean, you see this person. I don't, I don't know. You could be already with them. But when I see the Ten of Cups here, you see them as your happily ever after. You see them as your happily ever after. Um, This lover's card is here. You see this person as your happily ever after. You There's a deep love here. There's there's a deep love here. And, and I don't know, but you may have met this person at work. I'm going to say that the eight of pentacles is in the middle of your reading, which means that you may have met them at work, but there's some, there's a deep love here and, and somehow you guys have fallen in love. And I think you see someone that has fallen in love at work. I do. I think this was an office romance and I don't I see this a lot, but I see this with this reading. This is someone that you worked with that you guys have fallen in love. But here, here's the deal. If it's a page of cups person, this person is younger than you. They're younger than you, but you've fallen in love with them. I mean, you guys have fallen in love. This You are in love with someone that is younger with, than you. He's in love with you as well, um, but um, this is someone that's, that's younger. You have a good time with this person. He doesn't care about what anybody thinks um, about the relationship, even though you are younger than him. He, I mean, older than him. Um, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He's fun. He wants you. You guys have fallen in love. You guys see each other as your happily ever after. And then you see the Nine of Wands here. This Nine of Wands lets me know that he doesn't care. He really doesn't care. He's persistent. He is insistent on having you. He wants you. Even though you know it's like one of those things where you're saying, no, this won't work because... And your because is because I'm older than you. Because maybe you've had children. I mean, there's a lot of variables here that could be your because. In other words, this won't work because. This won't work because. And every time you say that, he comes back. Or he sticks with you. He doesn't He doesn't care. He wants you. You guys have fallen in love. And I think that you fell in love at work. I really do. I think that you fell in love at work. He's younger than you, but it really doesn't matter to him. And it really shouldn't matter to you because he loves you. Regardless. He loves you. He could be maybe nine to ten years younger than you. I'll say that too. Um, but he is, um, it doesn't matter. Um, when love happens, love happens. And you have fallen in love with someone that's younger than you. And I think, I do believe you met them at work. Now give me, and also when I see the eight of pentacles, I will say, either you met this person at work, you could have, that's one scenario. But it's also the other scenario that you know that being with him will take work. And he knows that too, because he is younger than you. You understand that. So give me three to five minutes. Let me clarify the reading. I want to clarify the reading to see exactly what the spirit guys want you to know. Show me spirit guys. Sit back, relax. Um, Leo, let me just clarify the reading to show to show what does uh, the spirit guys, what do the spirit guys want you to know? Show me spirit guys. What additional information do you want my Leos to know about this relationship? Show me spirit guys. Why is this lover's card here? 
Why is the lover's card here for my Leo? Let's see. Show me. Oh, I see the five of swords. Five of swords is all about conflict. Yeah, this is definitely conflict because he's he's younger than you. It's definitely conflict. You you got in your head, especially. Swords energy is mental energy. It's definitely conflict. You keep trying to talk yourself out of this love. You keep talking, you're trying to talk yourself out of this love, but you know what? It is what it is. You falling in love. Yeah, and you keep trying to say he's younger than me, and because of that, I mean, I just keep hearing you saying you keep you're in conflict with this energy, with this love energy, and, and how it is has manifested. Because you have fallen in love, you guys have fallen in love, and he's younger than you. Let's see why the Ten of Cups is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Ten of Cups here for my Leos? Look at that Wheel of Fortune. This relationship was destined. This relationship is karma-based. It's good. Oh, this relationship is just wonderful. And I'm going to say that, I mean, I know he's younger than you. I understand that doesn't matter now i will say he could be younger than you or you could be younger than him and i'm going to say that but nonetheless either way that goes he's your happily ever after with that ten of cups and that will of fortune this relationship was a destined relationship it was a destined relationship um the universe has brought you together because it was supposed to be no matter how hard you fight it this relationship was supposed to be so let's see why this Eight of Pentacles is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for my Leos? Wow. Ten of Cups again. Well, whenever the spirit guides give you the same, the same um, card in the reading, that means they want me to reiterate what they're saying, and they say, they're saying what they're saying, and they mean what they're saying. That Ten of Cups is there again. This is your happily ever after. This is your, this is a destined relationship. And it is your happily ever after. It is. And it's over the eight of pentacles. I say you met this person at work. But I also I could say the other scenario is. Is that also this relationship you understand is going to take work. Work because he's younger than you. Work because you know there's different things. There's maybe cultural differences. But it doesn't matter. You love who you love. Younger no matter what. You guys have fallen in love. Let's see why this page of cups is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is this page of cups here? <laughs> I have the hermit card here. And the hermit card can represent a Virgo sun sign. But the hermit card is also about trying to find the light. And I just think uh, for this because the page of cups, I think that you you have told this man or this this young younger man that you know you didn't want to be with him. I think there is, but whenever or with if you guys ever broke up, okay? Or whenever you even thought about it, you missed each other too too much. I mean, it was darkness. And when I say darkness, you guys were both down and out because you weren't with each other. So stop trying to fight it. Stop trying to fight it and accept it. He's younger than you, but guess what? Because when I see that Virgo card there, that Hermit card, you went inside because you kept saying, and I'll say it again, you kept saying, I love you, but. I love you, but. But guess what? He doesn't want to hear the but. He wants to be with you. He loves you. You love him. It is what it is. You are brought together for a reason. A reason. The hermit card is there because whenever there's always darkness, or there's a dark, they call the hermit card the dark night of the soul. There's always a darkness when he's not around you. When he's not around you, when he, when he's, when you guys uh, decide to go your separate ways and when you keep shooing him away and telling him no, there's darkness here. But guess what? He's not wanting to stop because let's see why this nine of wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the nine of wands here? Show me spirit, guys. Three of wands. Yep, 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 yep. He sees the future with you. This is your happily ever after. He sees the future with you. That three of wands is he's looking. He's searching. He's searching. He's found. And, you know, the hermit card is also somewhat about searching for that light, too. He's found goodness in you. He's found love in you. You found love in him. He knows what he wants, and he's not afraid to get it. He knows what he wants, he's not afraid to get it. Let me start at the very beginning of this reading, the lover's card. This is someone, could be a Gemini person, that you guys are in love with. You guys are in love. Um, there is conflict because you are younger than each other, um, that either you or him is younger. But I think it may be him that's younger. Um, and there's conflict because you keep trying to tell yourself, no, this can't be. This can't be. And when I say younger, he could be 9 to 10 years younger. 
um, or, you know, I don't know, but you keep saying, no, this can't be. But you see, you guys have fallen in love. And look at this Ten of Cups. You see him as your happily ever after. He sees you as his happily ever after. That will of fortune is there. That means everything is good. All things are moving positive with this relationship. Everything is moving forward. This is a goodness. Good karma. It was supposed to be. The Eight of Pentacles is here. You could have met him at work. I don't know. But or it just you just know because the Ten of Cups is here again. The universe. Thank you, spirit guys. The guys are saying this is your happily ever after. Stop fighting it. Eight of Pentacles is here because you know it may take work. You may be in different generations. It may be cultural differences. It doesn't matter. I know he's younger than you and it really doesn't matter. What matters is, is the love that you have between each other. The Page of Cups means um, someone that's fun, have a good time, but he's also younger, and I think this is him. He's younger than you. And then you see the Hermit card, and the Hermit card, whenever you try to mess this mess about, hey, just go on, don't be with, you know, all of that, there's darkness. There's a dark night of the soul that comes upon you and him because you guys both want to be in love, and you are in love with each other, and then you're always, it's just darkness when, when you're not together. Here's the nine of wands here. He will not let you go. He won't stop. He is insistent. He's persistent. That's how you guys ended up together. You or he is persistent. He wants you and he knows he wants you because that three of wands is there. He's determined. He's looking out into the future already. He sees you as his happily ever after. You don't have to worry about that. He sees you as his happily ever after. That three of wands. He's looking out. He's getting ready. All Hey. Every, his ships have come in. Everything is working for him. All is good. All is well. So let me see. Show me oracles. Let's see what my oracles have to say about this relationship. Show me oracles. What do you want to show me oracles about this relationship? Oh, I'm going to pull this romance, romantical. He's romantical. He's romantical. Um, let's see what else my spirit guides and my oracles have to say. Let's see. Let, oh. I'm going to pull this too because it definitely goes, if you believe, if you believe it's on you, if you believe that this is the man for you, which I strongly believe it is, then guess what? Handle it. Handle it. Go for it. And stop trying to fight it. Stop trying to fight it because I see you still, you know, just trying to fight it. Stop trying to fight it. He's there for you. He wants to be with you. And the other card that I'm going to pull that I see, there's two cards here. Huh, I'm pulling a year from now. A year from now, I'll see you being happily married as long as you stop trying to fight it. This is a destined relationship. And the last card is yes. Yes, the universe has spoken. This is your happily ever after. That's what I have for you, Leo, for your love prediction reading.